Hi, Chris Shank with Case IH here to discuss tractor in cab settings for a 2000 series planner. Let's head into the cab. After we have our planner hooked up, we're going to come into the cab and we're going to go through and, and set things on the tractor to mat, match up to the planner. One of the things is we're going to go into remote valves. We're going to look at our flows. On a 2000 series planner, it is recommended that all of our remote flows are set to maximum or 100%. So typically number one is set for our frame lift and lower. So we want to have maximum flow available to raise and lower as well as send out our markers. Uh, depending on our planner configurations, we could have remote two, three, four, all, all set with constant flow or motor mode. So we're going to also have those in the retract at 100% flow as needed. Okay. Then we can come over to our timer. We can go through and set up a timer so that when we are in plant mode, we can raise and lower and have it automatically kick off at a 10 second interval or whatever is needed to raise and lower that planter configuration. Now let's move on to look at the remote valve levers themselves to energize motor mode. So each one of our functions that we want to use in motor mode are our constant flow functions for the planter. We take our remote lever and push it to float. We can see that indicator here. And then we're going to press and hold the button right next to that remote lever to energize motor mode. Motor mode is very useful on the planter so that any inadvertent movement from the retract state here takes the planter and that remote valve to float. Therefore, it will not wreck any motors on the planter. If the planter is equipped with a PTO pump, we need to go through and engage the PTO, have our remotes functioning that we have for that planter, and we're going to increase our RPM either with the hand throttle or constant engine RPM so that we can get that set for so it's ready when we get to the field. On our two-point hitch model planters or three-point model planters, we want to go through and reference where our toolbars are level via the knob and the percentage on the display for our three-point hitch. So we're going to go through, lower the planter down to that area, see it on our display, reference that number every time we get to each field, and once we're set in the field for that levelness of the planter, we're going to reach over to our lockout switch and lock out our three point. That's indicated here by the red, red LED light next to the lockout. So now when, as I'm going through the field at my level planter setting, any bump to the knob will not move the three point hitch and the planter stays level. That concludes all of our recommended settings for the tractor via each planter that we have. For more information on tractor settings and planter settings, please contact your Case IH dealer or reference your operator's manual.